Tactics. In today's session, we are going to learn about the foundation of Indian National Congress. Okay, under that first you are going to learn about the rise of nationalism. How the nationalism it grows in the India. The second half of the 19th century, it saw the emergence of the national political consciousness among the new social class of English educated Indians. The nationalism and the various democratic aspiration, it uh, actually arose in between the people. The flourishing of print media both in the vernacular and in English media significant role in circulating the nationalism ideas. Even though they were numerically small, they had a national character and capacity to establish contact on all India scale. They were working as lawyers, journalists, government employees, teachers or doctors. They took the initiative to flaunt political outfits such as Madras Native Association. Madras Native Association. It is called as a Yamani. East India Association. Madras Mahajana, uh, Mahajana Sabha. Like that Madras Mahajana Sabha. Uh, East India Association and Madras Mahajana Sabha. Everything it uh, started. Okay. It started only to raise that nationalism. Pune Sarvajanik Sabha. The Bombay President's Association, so many things started to raise the nationalism all over India. Next, you are knowing to learn about the economic critic of colonialism. Okay, what is the economic criticize? It was done by our leaders. Dada by Nehruji, Justice Rande, and Ramesh Chandra that played a significant role in the making criticism about colonial economy. They clearly understood that the prosperity of the British lay in the economic and political subjection of India. They concluded that colonialism was the main obstacle to the India's economic development. That means what they did, uh, the British people, they exploited our resources and they converted into the finished goods in their country, in the Britain country and again they sold out in India. They made the India as the market, okay, as the Britain, Britain goods, it was sold out only in India. So due to that alone, our India's economic development, it was not much there. The economic development, it was too low. Objectives and methods, what are the objectives of the foundation of the Indian National Congress? The formation of the Indian National Congress in 1885 was intent to establish an all India organization. It was the culmination of attempts by groups of educated Indians. Only the educated Indians only they started the Indian National Congress INC. It was started by the educated in, uh, educated Indian people alone. Now you are going to learn about the objectives and methods. The formation of the Indian National Congress in 1885 was intended to establish an all India organization. Most probably in this one, educated Indians alone they participated. Alan Active and Hugh, the British person only, helped us to form the Indian National Congress in 1885. It was first started in the three presidencies Bombay, Calcutta, and Madras. Okay. At first it started in Bombay and afterwards in the Madras and afterwards in the Calcutta. E.A.O. Hugh, he only called that means Alan Active and Hugh. He only shortly called as Alan, actually its name is Alan Active and Hugh. Okay, Active and Hugh only his name. He only shortly called as E.A.O. Hugh. Okay, lent in his services to facilitate the formation of the Congress. Umesh Chandra Banerjee. Umesh Chandra Banerjee. Shortly he was called as a WC Banerjee. He only is the first, he only was the first president of INC, Indian National Congress. The first session of the Indian National Congress was held on 20th December 1885. First session it was held on 20th December 1885 at Bombay. The first session. Okay. The yearly objectives were to develop and consolidate sentiments of national unity, but also professed loyalty to the Britain. 
the techniques included appeals petitions and delegations to britain all done within a constitutional framework alone the what are the key demands in the indian national congress creation of legislative council at provincial as well as central level increase in the number of elected members in the legislative council separating the judicial and the executive functions reducing military expenditure reduction of home charges extension of trial by jury holding civil services exams in india as well as in england police reforms reconstitution of forest laws promotion of indian industries and an end to unfair tariffs and the excise duties these are all the objectives of the indian national congress next militant nationalism what is the militant nationalism the method of moderate leaders failed to yield any substantive change in the british attitude towards the moderate demands of early indian nationalists they were criticized by group of leaders known as extremists they were called as the extremists instead of prayers and petitions the militant were more focused on self fail they were more focused on the self fail only the extremist people they were focused only on the self help thank you kids